for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. Please, we'll see what the challenge is and then we'll find out what the outcome is going to be. So Libra, in the recent past, we got the Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Swords, it's showing that you probably had to guard against some feelings of anxiety. If you were anxious, you probably needed to take a look at whether or not any of that was under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life were contributing to this anxiety. And if this was the case, you, maybe you took a good look at that to see whether or not something in the relationship could have been changed to make it more workable for you. Or maybe that's what you should have tried. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more bigger or different than it is. So you might have wanted to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And just know that's really where the beauty is. Now this Nine of Swords, it's paired with the Five of Pentacles. In the Five of Pentacles, it points to a time when life could have been feeling less insecure. So the important thing to remember is that there was always help available when you needed it from forces seen and unseen. Um, you might have started to feel alone, but you had the capacity to change that if you just reached out. So like I said, you probably felt left out in the cold in the recent past, as though everyone else in the world had everything and you were the only one suffering. But just realize that this is not the case, so do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing that you should have done was if you needed help was to go out and ask for it because the help that you needed, it would have kept, it would have come. So the recent past, with these two cards paired together, it's basically saying that uh, it looks like you went through some type of stressful situation or you could have been dealing with some, someone that caused you a lot of anxiety. And they also made you feel, the situation or the person made you feel left out. Um, yeah, because the Five of Pentacles is about maybe someone treating you the way that they're not treating you the way that you think they should. So, you could have had your eyes on someone like this. And it just made you feel really bad. There was no security in the connection and you felt left out and maybe alone by this person and it caused maybe nightmares anxiety and um could have even caused some depression sadness now that's the recent past keep in mind the recent past could have been could have been a month ago could have been a week ago it could have been three months ago or it could have been more now let's take a look and see what's going on with the present time coming up for the first week of August. We got the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Now the Queen of Wands, this kind of refers to a woman who has a lot of fire energy. Queen of Wands is known as Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it could be any sign though. Now, because this is a general reading, they're not personal reading, so you have to kind of like take the reading for whatever situation works best for you. When the Queen of Wands is not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. And often it could be focused on work or career. The Queen is actually a positive, uplifting energy. Now, when it does stand for an actual woman in your life, she's a really good friend. And she's um, solidly 100% on your side, even though this Queen of Wands can seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, just a little side note about the Queen of Wands. If you're trying to conceive and you get this card in a reading, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, the Queen of Wands is paired with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, this card means that you will choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but keep in mind the separation is in your best interest. 
Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship job or living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this information coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, the Eight of Cups usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Just know that when one door closes, it has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. So what we have here for the present time, like I said, coming up for the first week of August, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, it's basically saying that there's someone very determined about you or this connection, very determined. Um, this person could be egotistical. They're used to getting what they want. Very confident type. Uh, like I said, uh, the Queen of Wands, the, well, the Queen of Wands knows her worth and is very determined. So this could be you, Libra, or the person that you're dealing with um, that's very determined about the connection, but it looks like someone could be choosing to walk away because the Eight of Cups is about moving on, abandoning, abandonment, uh, leaving behind. Uh, something's gone sour. But then there's you or your person that's still determined. One's walking away or thinking about walking away, leaving behind, and the other is very, very determined to keep this going. They're confident that they can make it work. So that's what's coming up for the present time. So let's take a look and see what we got for the challenge. We got this beautiful Ace of Cups and it's with the Four of Swords. Now the Ace of Cups, it could be about deep attraction. But for the most part, the Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card when it comes to love, happiness, affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually at this time. So you should be feeling really good about life overall. This is a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Yeah, and if it's a if you're in an existing relationship, it takes a turn for the better. You could go to deeper levels of understanding or commitment. It could feel almost like a new encouraging start. Now, that's one of the challenges, but it's with it's paired with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is showing a need for a break could be from normal life. This could mean that you or someone in your life they may withdraw for a time. But keep in mind that withdraw. It's not likely to be it's not likely to be permanent. Um, but it is a sign to give people their space. You could be feeling like, like you need some space or time for yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. If you push in this circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now, the challenge. Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is about, like I said, some type of uh, deep attraction or... It could be a new beginning with a, a new love. Um, but it's with this Four of Swords. So it's showing that um, there's some rest that's needed. And it could be you or your person that may withdraw for a time. It could feel like someone's ghosting you or you ghosted them. But it's about coming back. It's just a temporary withdrawal. So the challenge is that you're going to have to put up with uh, someone that's 
deciding to withdraw. But it looks like things could turn around, whereas this person will decide or feel like they want to have a fresh new start with you. Because there's deep attraction here with this Ace of Cups. But it's showing that a break from this connection will do it well or it will help give it a boost because it's about coming back and then wanting a new fresh start or it could be someone new coming towards you after you uh, withdraw or take a break or some type of rest after some type of, type of struggle so that's going to be the challenge and now let's see what the outcome is we got the four of wands and we got the high priestess now the four of wands it's showing that you could be attending a special event with the four of wands it's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating so it's it's showing to make sure you go you'll have a great time if you have a business it's going really well you'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you too Although this is a very positive card in a reading, it shows a need to keep your wits about yourself. And although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to completely rest on your laurels. This card is also, well, it could mean that you, choose, you may choose to move. You could move your place of residence. You could be thinking about it or you might actually be doing it. So the Four of Wands is with the High Priestess, which can be a spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It could mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. The High Priestess, it's tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. And this is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or your intellect. So it's also important that you pay attention to any dreams that you have now. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it'll be a really good idea. So the outcome we have for you, Libra, Four of Wands and High Priestess. So with these two cards paired together, it looks like, mm, I don't know if this is someone new, with the Four of Wands, you two come together and it has the potential to go to marriage, long-term commitment. Yeah, this is a beautiful card for relationships, the Four of Wands. Um, really, really nice. The relationship becomes a whole lot more committed, including potential marriage. Maybe it just takes a, maybe it goes to the next level. Like I said, it because the Ace of Cups is there for your challenge, it may be someone new or it could be someone you're dealing with. And um, the other outcome, like I said, the High Priestess, there's, the person is really attracted to you, Libra. This High Priestess is about sitting pretty. Um, high Priestess is, is quiet. They, they pull back their energy. Um, there's just a lot of mojo, a lot of attraction here. Um, secrets, mystery is the high priestess. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking that I'm picking up there's a lot of chemistry here and a lot of attraction. You or your person, you're really attracted to your person, Libra, or your person is really attracted to you. And it, the outcome is showing that it goes to the next level. With the four of wands and you two could do a lot of celebrating like i said the challenge is showing a new person or either just a powerful rebonding of the person that you're already with but it's going to take some type of withdrawal and like i said the four of swords is not permanent the person comes back um, and it looks like in the present time when someone someone does walk away but it's showing that they come back because there's so much attraction here. And someone's really determined to make the connection work. So, Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, 
They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, I thank you so very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching.